If, like me, you're looking forward to Jurassic World, something that's likely caught your attention is the Indominus Rex, a genetically engineered predator designed to be as fearsome and terrifying as possible. Basically a great attraction for the park, and in this video I just want to talk about what we can expect to see from the Indominus Rex. Now we do have a few good shots of the dinosaur now, so we have a good sense of what it's like physically, but also just from the trailers if you haven't seen them already, we know that it's a very intelligent dinosaur and we know that it's a dinosaur that hunts for sport. And these are two very scary factors because of course it will just go on killing and killing, not necessarily because it needs to eat, just because it wants to. But because it is a genetically engineered dinosaur, it's made up of other carnivores. And when I go on the actual Jurassic website, uh, I see that it's made up of four key theropods. And these are Carnotaurus, Majungasaurus, Rugops, and Giganotosaurus. Giganotosaurus being one of my favourite personal dinosaurs, actually. And... Um, I do find that a bit strange in a way, because although these are fearsome theropods, I wonder why they have taken four very similar ones, and these are the ones that are mentioned. And when I look at the Indominus Rex, I do see elements of a Velociraptor, so I'm guessing that that's been thrown in too. Something, surprisingly, that hasn't been mentioned is the T-Rex, at least on the website here. And so I'm thinking... Why haven't they included the T-Rex as part of its makeup? And I think the reason for that is that it would make a very dramatic showdown between the Indominus Rex and the T-Rex at some point in the film. Now, what we know already is that Jurassic World is going to take place on the same island as the original Jurassic Park film. And the original T-Rex from that film is apparently still alive, albeit much older. So it's become a far more... I guess, experienced T-Rex, much better at hunting, if you want, the veteran of T-Rexes. And I think it's inevitable that we're going to see a showdown between the Indominus Rex and the T-Rex. Now, in Jurassic Park 3, we saw a fight between Spinosaurus and T-Rex, and something I took issue with on that fight was that it was over very quickly. I think it was fair that Spinosaurus won the fight, I don't have any problems with that. But I think just to make it, if anything, more dramatic in this film is to make it so that the T-Rex actually becomes, I guess, an unwitting hero. Because if you remember in the original Jurassic Park, the T-Rex actually saved the people from the Velociraptors that were chasing them. I can imagine a very similar scenario where the T-Rex just runs into the Indominus Rex and takes it down. But that brings in the question, who would win in a fight, the T-Rex or an Indominus Rex? And this kind of brings it onto a kind of versus video in and of itself. And this really depends on two ways of looking at it. If you're just looking at it in terms of physical prowess, there is really no doubt that the Indominus Rex would win. Not only does it have more traits from more dinosaurs, but, I mean, you can just see it's got much greater, more powerful arms. It can run at 50 kilometers per hour, which is much faster than a T-Rex, uh, much sharper teeth. Essentially, the T-Rex doesn't stand much of a chance in just a solid one-on-one -on -one fight. However, uh, simply because the T-Rex is such a nostalgic dinosaur, I mean, it's the favourite dinosaur of many kids and, well, you know, dinosaur fans of any age. And so I could imagine them allowing the T-Rex to actually be the final thing to take down the Indominus Rex just from a nostalgic, almost traditional point of view. I think there's a, it's, a, it's a very different question what dinosaur would win versus which one do we want to win. I personally actually want the Indominus Rex to win. I just want it to go on killing and killing and killing. I think it seems like such an impressive dinosaur. Something that has been on my mind is that the fact that the Indominus Rex is very intelligent, and that could either be as a result of just potentially splicing in some Velociraptor, or it could maybe, in a quite a cool twist, be as a result of splicing a little bit of human DNA in there, because of course humans are best known for their intelligence. And I think it could be quite terrifying, really, that the most dangerous, formidable dinosaur is one that is spliced with our own DNA. It turns out that because we are the alpha predators of the planet, just put a bit of us into a dinosaur and it becomes unstoppable. I think that would be quite a cool twist on the whole thing. Obviously, I've got no real source to back that up. It's just mere speculation on my part. So that's all the information and speculation I have on the Indominus Rex so far. I'm very excited to see it on the big screen. As always, people, thanks very much for watching and see you next time.